What's up? This is your girl, Texas Black Diamond, aka TBD. Thank you for tuning in to Texas Black Diamond ENT, honey. Hey, this is your girl, Texas Black Diamond, coming back with another video. I want to talk about Tom Mezzaro. Um, He did an interview speaking very highly of Bill Cosby. Tom Mezzaro, um, he spoke with a blogger and he continued to embrace Bill Cosby to speak well and he also felt like um, race had something to do with um, Bill Cosby guilty verdict but he just couldn't prove it but he felt like it was and all the stuff that he was saying is basically um, what you know RSK is going through and other people um, that's you know dealing with this type of situation um, we feel that it is a, a race um, thing um, we feel like, um, you know, it's just like, it's just so much you can just see that um, the due process is not being handled in the right way for these men of color that we are advocating for. And so I'm going to let you guys um, um, hear the interview and then I'll come back with some more. But um, I think... Um, um, Bill Cosby hired, um, I think his last name is Green, Joseph P. Green Jr. Um, so he had a t dream team, um, and Tom Mezzaro is um, a famous um, attorney. You know, he helped Michael get off his case. Um, allegedly, he um, went to um, the holding at MCC to speak um, with Robert face to face. Um, and speak to him about his case. I don't know what happened in that situation. I don't know if it was a money thing. I have no clue. But listening to him, he didn't. He just bragged about, you know, Bill Cosby and a great man, you know, Bill Cosby to be. And um, he also, you know, you know, he just he had he come in. And, you know, just gave him, you know, just all these praises, even after, you know, um, Bill let him go. And that's what I like. And so let's go ahead and listen to um, Mr. Tom speak. Well, the first trial, which ended in June 2017, was a mistrial. Yes. Right. So then, hung jury, yeah. So then a retrial was set. Yes. Um. And at that point, that's when he hired you to represent him in the retrial. Yes. In the first trial, the judge let one other woman testify against Bill Cosby. One other woman in addition to the alleged victim. When I showed up, he allowed five women to testify along with the alleged victim. It was clearly an effort to make sure there was a conviction by the trial judge. How was your initial meetings with Bill Cosby? Oh, he's a Bill Cosby is a delightful person to talk to. Mm -hmm. He's very intelligent. He's very funny. He's very engaging. He's a very respectful person of other people. He's one of the brightest men I've ever met. And it was delightful to interact with Bill Cosby. I just wish he hadn't been in this situation and he certainly doesn't deserve to be in prison and didn't deserve to be convicted. Well, on April 26, 2018, a jury found uh, Cosby guilty of felony sexually, sexual assault on all three counts. Each of the three counts carried a prison term of up to 10 years. When you heard the news that he lost, when you're, you know, because you were in the, in the courtroom, how did you feel? I felt horrible. I felt it was a total injustice. I felt the trial was so unfair, so prejudiced against him. I felt he, he had been denied due process. Uh, I felt race had something to do with it, although I could prove it. Um, and I was very, very upset. How did Bill Cosby react when you were sitting next to him? Bill Cosby is one of the most courageous people I've ever met. He's a man of absolute impeccable character. He basically took it in stride, never complained, didn't come out blaming other people for it. He's a real man of character. So Mr. Tom Mesero, he felt like um, the second um, j um, trial um, because it was a hung jury, jury from the um, first one. So they had to do a retrial. And so Tom Mesereau, he felt like, 
you know, this judge decided to, you know, get all these women to testify against Bill Cosby to try to make sure that there is a conviction. And so, um, you know, Tom Mesro, he felt like it was, he was, it was just disappointing. Um, and, you know, he spoke on, you know, after Bill's, you know, conviction that Bill Cosby, you know, kept his head up high. Um, it wasn't a woe is me. Um, he didn't c complain. He didn't um, blame the attorneys. Um, you know, he didn't blame anyone. He just, you know, took it all in stride and um, just trying to be um, this humble man and just deal with it. And I do like, I always say this when, you know, about Bill, you know, Mr. Bill, you know, even though people feel, you know, that he was hard on our race and you have to look at it as what it is because, um, you know, sitting around listening to my elderly, you know, they feel the same way about our people. Yes, our men need to pick up their um, pants and wear their pants like they're supposed to wear their pants. You know, yes, we as women need to um, do better. And I don't see anything wrong with, you know, our elderly trying to push us to do better. Um, just like um, um, President Barack Obama, he was, you know, black people was intimidated because you know, he's saying, you know, fathers, you know, men be at home, be fathers. And you get mad at that. I mean, that's what it is, you know, because it takes a village to raise a child, you know, the right village. And so with Bill Cosby, you know, when he said certain things, you know, I wasn't upset about it. But, you know, our black men were mad. They were furious. They were mad at, you know, Bill Cosby, oh, he's putting our race down. And then, you know, once he was convicted, you know, they celebrated that. I'm like, why do we love putting the noose around our own necks? You know, um, you know, and I respect the bill, um, Mr. Bill Cosby, when he said that, you know, um, when it came for his parole, they wanted him to say that, hear it from his mouth, yes, I'm guilty just so he can go home, you know? So Bill Cosby is like, no. And that was just like the Central Point, Point Central Park Five guys. They were like, "No, I'm not saying that because I know I didn't do anything." And you know, we can bury the truth, but the, like I always tell you guys, the truth will rise like a spirit. And so, um, I'm glad that um, Bill Cosby is, you know, keeping his, you know, um, faith and you know, just smiling. And letting these people know you're not hurting me because if God need me to be here and help these young men and help these even these older black men that's locked up in prison and they don't have people to teach them and they don't have any mentors, if this is where God want me to be, this is where I be. I will die here before I say I am guilty of something that I didn't do. Um, so you know that's what made me like really proud of of Bill, Mr. Bill Cosby. And that's why I speak for him as well. Not just, you know, um, R. Kelly. You know, a lot of people feel like, um, you know, y'all going for these men and stuff. If we don't be for each other, who will? But we have this white man, you know, um, just like, hey, I mean, whatever race he is. But it's like, I don't care if he, you know, let me go. But I know this is a good man. And I'm going to speak on that. And that's what I like about Mr. Tom. You know. Um, so um, you can go on. Um, um, Blair TV. And I think he has a, a series. This is um, um, part 17. Um, so. um you can go in there and watch the whole thing. I guess it's one from 17, which I'm going to go see. I found that very interesting. Um, and I just want to share that with the, um, the, the viewers on it and give my opinion on it. So, um, free Bill Cosby, free Robert Sylvester Kelly. Um, let's treat these men like 
human beings. Let's treat them like they're American citizens that paid taxes, even if they didn't. They deserve due process. Um, like, I'm looking at this like one didn't re- um, get his due process and one is not receiving his due process. So um, we have to keep fighting. We have to keep pushing, you know, this um, situation and letting people know this is the reason why we fight because it needs to be fair. We need to have, the grounds need to, they need to have a fair fight. You can't tie a person's hand behind their back and then give the opponent um, boxing gloves. It's not fair. It has to be a, a, a equal fight here. And that's what we're fighting for. So um, thank you again. That's all I have to say on that. You guys, please drop your comments down below. Um, share, like, and subscribe if you have not already done so with the subscribing and push that notification bell so you won't miss a thing that I drop. Y'all have a good one. All you did was get rich out of these war crimes. It's a conspiracy. Who's the terrorist? The U.S. government must be the terrorist.